Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Kier coming at you guys today with a makeup get ready with me kind of talk to you about my experience kind of video. So um, yeah, today I'm going to be talking about my nipple piercing experience and why I don't have them anymore. So um, yeah, the background is like a little different because I am in Florida right now. <clears throat> I went to vacation in Florida right when all this lockdown stuff happened. So, yeah, <laughs> it's been a very interesting vacation. But um, yeah, I'm going to start with my Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. Uh, primer? <clears throat> I'm trying not to, like, to talk too loud because the walls are like kind of thin here. But, um yeah i'm really hoping this lighting is good for you guys but um anyways so let's start so i got my nipples pierced uh i was i was 20. so i had my nipples pierced for like six years and um yeah i had a pierced for a really long time um, I'm going to just kind of go through like the story of how it all happened and then I'm going to tell y'all the pros and cons and then I'm going to tell y'all why I took them out. So, um, I had, I had been wanting to get my nipples pierced for a while. Like I was on Tumblr and stuff and I was just like, I thought they were so freaking cute and I was debating on like if I should just do like one nipple instead of like two because I was just kind of like, I was like kind of scared. I was like, what if it like hurts too much? Like, I don't know what looks better. But I was like, whatever, I'm going to just do the full thing, you know, whatever. So at the time at my job, one of my old coworkers, me and her decided we wanted to go get them done together. Okay. And then I'm going to just go in with this um, eyeliner and do my eyebrows. Yes, I do my eyebrows with eyeliner. Um, I've never used like what? I can't say never. I don't use like eyebrow stuff because I just, I like for my eyebrows to be like a bit darker. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I'm just going in with um, this NYX eyeliner to do my eyebrows. But um, yeah, so we decided to go get our nipples done together. And I want to say I was the one that went first. Um, I was the one that went first and honestly, my top, my pain tolerance really isn't like a low, I wouldn't say it's high, but it's not low, like at all. And, um, I would say like on a scale from like one to 10, um, it was probably like a two for me, <laughs> like a two as in I can feel this, but like it doesn't hurt. Okay, I had to like fast forward through that because like I feel like I can't talk whenever I'm doing my eyebrows. Yeah, it literally takes me not even two minutes to do my eyebrows. I'm not super crazy about like getting that eyebrow technique down. I'm just, I like how this looks and that's that. But um, yeah, then I'm going to go in with this LA Girl Pro Concealer and Porcelain to kind of just define them and shape them up. But um, yeah, this ain't a makeup tutorial, so I'm not like really going into like super depth in it but um yeah so i would say the pain was like a two out of the um from one to ten it just really didn't hurt the um interesting thing about it though um i'm sure this varies depending on like what kind of area you got but um whenever mine was done there was like a weird like pop noise Cause like going through those nerves and stuff, like it just made like a weird pop noise. And I was like, what the hell? And I did watch when he was doing it. He was like, he thought I was crazy for watching, but I'm one of those people like, if I'm about to get like penetrated, like I need to, I need to see, I need, I need to know what is about to happen. Like, I'm just, I'm weird like that. So yeah, I watched him do it the whole time. And, um, it was fine. Like it didn't hurt or nothing like that. Now,
Now, the only thing that I will say is getting that caught on a loofah is a bitch. Like, it is a whole bitch. <laughs> like, I would advise not to brush yourself with a loofah because that's just... I mean, common sense, which clearly I did not have common sense. Or I guess I just trusted myself enough not to, like, I mean, just be careful. But yeah, like, that's not any fun getting it caught on a fresh um, piercing. It really isn't that comfortable even whenever you've had it for a while. And just because the just your stuff being yanked or whatever, that's just not a good time. Sorry, y'all. When did I get this freaking uh, stuff out of the way? The so next, I'm going in with this pure four in one leave your selfie on my foundation concealer. This is just like a sample that I got in my Ipsy bag. Um, I never switch up my foundation, but I actually kind of like this. So, um, yeah, we're gonna do this today. But, um, yeah, just don't wash yourself with a loofah because that's just dumb. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so now the healing. Um, they say the healing process is like seven months, like six, seven months, something like that. I personally feel like the healing process never ends. Um, like I said, I had mine for like six years and I felt like it just never healed. Um, obviously, there wasn't anything like coming out of the hole like pus or nothing like that but you would get like a little crusty a little crustage you know <laughs> going on like on the regular so like obviously like you just clean it or whatever um as far as the cleaning goes i would not take my nipple piercings out because getting them back in for me personally was a bitch like it doesn't matter if I had them in for a few weeks, a few months, years. It didn't matter. Like, it just was not a good time. I eventually, um, after a few months of having them, I did change mine out from the metal to, like, something a bit cuter. But once I did that, I pretty much, for the most part, just left it that way. I had only changed them a couple of times. But like I said, changing them was just it, i hated changing them. Like, it felt super uncomfortable it did not feel good at all and it was just really hard to get them back in i'm gonna go back in with this la girl and put a right in my eyeball and then i'm gonna go in with this darker concealer it's morphe uh c435 is that the shade i don't know i haven't had this that long but i like how it feels so okay but um yeah like so i didn't change them out that much but um but yeah, I feel like they took a million years to heal. Like, I really feel like they never really did heal. So that's one thing. Um, I know everyone's body is different. But um, for the girl that went and got hers done with me and the other girls I know that had it, they also say they feel like theirs just, just never healed. Like, it heals, but it's just like super sensitive inside. Like, it's hard to explain but apparently I wasn't the only one. So I know that that isn't just me. But um, yeah, I hated taking them out. So whenever I would clean them, I would just obviously like, you know, scrub myself with like soap and all that or whatever. And I would just twist the ball around and move it around to just kind of get the soap in the hole and everything. And if there's any crust, obviously like wash the crust off or whatever. Um, but yeah, the whole cleaning and healing process was hella annoying to me, but I just still love them because I loved how they looked and I had them in for years, obviously. So I obviously like them. Now I will say also, <laughs> after you get them done, 
things do become a little bit more sensitive. Viewer discretion is advised. Um, so that was interesting to uh, find out. <laughs> but you get very sensitive afterwards. Um, I'm not going in with any setting powder. I didn't bring any setting powder with me on this trip. I just brought like the basics. I don't usually do my make my makeup pretty basic anyway. Yeah, because I'm a basic bitch. But um, I'm just go in with this. What is this, Maybelline? Yeah, Maybelline Fit Me in 40, the dark powder. And I'm gonna just lightly put this all over my face. Like I really just, I do not like to go in heavy with makeup. Just give it just a, a little oomph, my face a little extra oomph. But um, yeah, like things do get a lot more sensitive. I don't feel like a lot of people talk about that as far as like the whole experience goes, but yes, things do get a lot better. <laughs> so I would say why am I sucking my cheek to do my forehead Okay, so I would say um, the pros, other than obviously liking how it looks, I would say the pros are it being cute, like I just said, and just the sensitivity. <laughs> if y'all know what I mean. Um, and yeah, like, and it really, in my experience, it really didn't hurt. But, um, yeah, now the cons. The cons are definitely more than the pros. Um, for me, and I keep on trying to say for me because, like I said, everyone's experience is different, I'm sure, and everyone's body is different. Um, this is just my experience. Okay, I'm going to go in with this. Wow, I haven't even had this highlighter that long and the words are already rubbed off. I think it's like Space Cosmetics or some, something like that. I don't know. It's a very light highlighter, which is why I like it. Like it's very light. I feel like this side of the room is a little darker because the light is coming from here. But um, I would have just faced right here, but I didn't like how the background looked. But um, it'd be different if this was like a makeup tutorial, but it ain't. I like to go in and do my nose highlighter with um eyeshadow because I feel like it's just more pigmented. This is the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. I love this palette. Okay, but um, I don't know why I closed this. I'm not done with this. Um, but yeah, the coat, the codes, <laughs> the cons are um definitely the healing process. Like I said, I feel like it's like they just never heal. Like they heal, but they don't feel like they heal. Like I had mine for six years, and it just <sighs> it was just hella annoying. I'm gonna mix up these two. But, um, yeah, I feel like them bitches never healed. And it was just hella annoying, which is why, like, I would just rarely change them out. So, for me, that was the biggest con. They really weren't expensive. I think it was, like, 60 bucks to get them done. And that's for two of them. So, I guess, like, 30 a piece. The um pricing for me where I got them done wasn't expensive. 
So um, going back to pros, that's a pro. But um, yeah, I just feel like that was the only con. Just just the whole healing process. It just made them like super annoying to have. But obviously, them being cute <laughs> trumped everything. So, I mean, that's obviously why I had them for six years. So, um, in my opinion, I would say get them done. Like I said, everyone's body is different. So, maybe yours will heal like super good and won't get on your nerves to change them out. But um, I would still say get them, even if you have my same experience. Because it's just, they're just so freaking cute. Like, I just, I love them. And let's get to why I don't have them anymore. <laughs> Okay, so the reason why I don't have them anymore, hella unfortunate. Um, yeah, so I wound up going to the doctor to get an x-ray. And if y'all have never had an x-ray before, whenever you get an x-ray, like usually they advise you to take out like any kind of metal, like piercings and stuff like that. Um, earrings, belly rings, nipple rings, or whatever. So I went to get an x-ray on my chest and whenever I took the x-ray, I forgot to take my nipple rings out. And whenever she saw the x-ray, she was like, oh, do you want to take those out? And I know they get better results whenever they're out. So I was like, yeah, I'll take them out. I've had to take them out for an x-ray before and I had trouble getting them back in, but I always got them back in. This time, no. And ignore my nails. That's what lockdown will do to you. That's what quarantine will do to you. Anyway, so, um, so yeah, I went ahead and took them out, took the x-ray, whatever, whatever. So I went back to the bathroom and I tried to put them in and it was like, it was like my nipple was like rejecting the ring. Like I could not get them back in. Like I was trying water, all kind of stuff and I could not get them back in. And um, during the time I was trying to get them in, they were like closed, the clinic was closed. And I was just like, what the hell? So like I actually left, went and parked my car in some like random alley and I was trying to get them in. And like, I was just making myself bleed and everything. And I was just like, I don't wanna like give myself an infection trying to get this stuff back in. So I didn't put them back in. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. So I didn't put them back in and that was like four months ago and I don't have them in. They are closed, permanently closed and yeah, I don't have my piercings anymore. Um, I'm super sad about it because like I said, like they were just super cute and it, it took me a while to get used to seeing them not on. I'm used to what they look like now, but I'm just like, I still miss them and everything. Will I get them repaired right now? No, because I just, I don't like agree with like repiercing the same spots over and over because it would just be my luck if I got a freaking keloid and who wants a keloid on their boobs? Not me. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna get them repaired. So yeah, that's why I, um, have them taken out. Let me do my eyeliner real quick. Okay, and this was from Tarte Sex Kitten. Um, like I didn't do too much of my eyeliner because I am about to put on um, eyelashes. Let me go ahead and speak through that too. I am just using basic Kiss Wispy lashes. Mm. I was gonna do the um, the like individual lashes, but they didn't have any at the Walmart before I left. I'm gonna just use some of this uh, Maybelline Colossal. I'm not supposed to be having caffeine, but I drink all the decaf in the Airbnb, so I have this cappuccino. I don't drink the whole thing, I just drink a little bit. But um, yeah, I just made some right before this video, and now it's cool down. Um, I forgot my lash glue at home, so I had to go to CVS and get this um strip lash adhesive from kiss so hopefully that works well because i don't think i've used that exact time from kiss before but uh, i'll be back okay lashes are on now i'm about to go in with this lip liner i have no idea what brand this is because it shrunk that much 
Now I'm gonna go in with this Revlon in Brazilian tan. And then I'm gonna go in with this Born, I'm about to say Born Run, Beauty For Real in Sunlight. What the fuck? Okay, and that is it for my simple makeup look and my experience on the nippy rings. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all next time. Mm -hmm.